Alrighty, good evening everybody. Welcome back to Workshop Taz. Uh, I'm using my phone here now for the video camera and I'm not using it in selfie mode so I don't know how this is going to work. I can't see where I'm at in the screen. So hopefully this is going to be uh, alright. And I hope it doesn't sound too much like an advertisement because it is, but it really isn't because I'm not making anything on this and I'm not sponsored. So it's just this is just my opinion. So I'll get down here and hopefully you guys can see me. Um, a lot of you guys are familiar with this machine here. A lot of people have this 110 90 amp flux core machine. Uh, it's always on sale and it seems like this one here is always on sale also. Um, these are great little machines for what they are but uh, my opinion is if you're looking to upgrade you know let's say maybe you got uh, 220 or 240 run out to your garage and you know, or maybe your wife is kicking the butt to get you to run 240 out in the garage because she's got projects for you to do. Yeah, that's right. She has projects for you to do. Don't forget that. Um, in my opinion, this would be this would be a great second machine, an upgrade from this, uh, if you have heavier project to do. This is going to do a lot of light projects. We already know that. We've seen all the videos, and I don't need to go into that explanation. But if you got a little bit of heavier stuff you want to upgrade, I think this, in my opinion, this isn't a bad machine. Yes, it is 240 volt. Not everybody has 240 in their garage. I get that. And maybe some people don't want that. I totally get that too. But if you decide that's a route you want to go, in my opinion, in my opinion only, I think this is a, a good machine to take a look at. Uh, it's always on sale for under, you know, a little over 100 and a half. I think it's like 159. Uh, well, that's a little, a little more than a little over, but 159 is usually on sale. Uh, it's it's a good starter second machine. I hate to say starter because this would be a good starter machine. This would be a good upgrade. Um, so with that being said, I've had both machines for a while. I've welded on this, and there's not, they're not my main machines, but I bought them for practice and flux core. Um, this will do both. I have not run this in uh, MIG mode yet. I don't know if I'm going to. I would have to convert this over to the coupling that the rest of my machines use, and I don't know if it's worth that type of work for me. But it does make a, a pretty decent flux core machine. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some stuff. And unfortunately, this didn't work out how I wanted it to. Um, I wanted to do the actual arc shots as I was doing all this, but uh, it wasn't the machine's fault. It was my fault. Uh, I'm doing uh, chalk lines on my material now to try to run straight lines and every time I do it I lose my line so you'll see that here in just a second so this is running the stock Chinese made wire when I first uh, day before yesterday ran my first bead I hit the piece of steel it was a quarter inch uh, piece of steel I'm using I'll show you that here in just a second and it didn't turn out good and when I tried to do a bead and I looked at it and went, no, this stuff really is um, junk, to say it kindly. And so first thing right off the top of my head is going to pull this out, grab the Vulcan wire that's in my Vulcan machine, and we'll, we'll use that. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see if I can't dial this stuff in. And I'm not going to use it for anything structural, so let me see if I can dial it in. And that's what I did. And I actually got acceptable results uh, for the Chinese made wire and I'll prove that to you in the machine here in just a minute <clears throat> but um, so let's start with over here and I'll see if I'm gonna have to go in the back of the camera so I can explain to you guys what I did okay so let's see with the uh, MIG 170 starting out here was probably where I first started and it just was right here I, I started with this little blocks right here and it was it was garbage and then I tried some more it was garbage the second line I did I don't know if you guys can see that didn't turn out very good at all and as I started to dial the machine in I'm starting to get something that resembles a bead and so we adjusted some more and this is all dark I washed this or cooled it down I quenched it so it turned it all dark I did have it all wire brushed up nicely so it's not that way now so each line I do I start to get a little better of a profile of a bead now they're not perfect because I'm trying to do this freehand I'm moving and so there'll be a lot a lot of like thick spots thin spots that's not the machine that's me so each line I go starts to get a little bit better and then try uh, propping myself up against something to get a steadier hand uh, I try not to prop myself and that turned into a mess that wasn't the machine that was me and then finally the last line here 
I flipped the piece over when I was well, and I was starting to do, uh, I'll call them chalk lines. And here I lost my line. I started out here, the line went right down below that, and for some reason right about here, I lost it. I couldn't see it, and I just kind of drifted off, and that's when I said, okay, I'm not going to do this on film because I wanted to do straight lines. Anyway, so, and I did a start and stop here. This was freehand here. I had a line here, and then I stopped. I had propped myself, and eh, it was all right. And then I stopped here and did it freehand. And as you breathe in, you move. As you breathe out, you move. And that's where that big old mess there is. So after, oh, and here was uh, after I started getting more dialed in on this side. I already had these filled up with other stuff. Now, mind you, the the beads are, are thick, but the profile is what I'm talking. The you know, it's they're kind of smooth, a little bit too tall. But each time I adjust this machine, I start getting a different result with the Chinese wire. And I thought, well, that's pretty good. I can't remember what I did up here, but that was totally my mess up there. So, you know, like I said, they're not perfect. But I was trying different stuff. I was trying propping. Uh, you know, I was trying uh, to lean up against the, the table and weld. And one of the things that I was, was running into as I was running the stick here, uh, the gun, I kind of was leaning up against the table like this and it was doing good and something happened and I ran about here out of range and then it's like okay now what do I do do I move my both arms and keep going you know do I what do I do now so that's where some of that stuff messed up I just flat out ran out of range which was my fault so I'm trying to figure out a comfortable way to prop that will be steady and all that good stuff so um, up here this is the second piece. Yeah, this was the second piece. And this was probably changing speeds and doing weird stuff. That didn't turn out good. Uh, this was where I was doing the most of the propping and not propping and trying to figure stuff out. But my point is, as you can see, the beads are getting better. They're not perfect. The squiggly part, you know, the, and that's my fault. That's not the machine's fault. But this was the last one I did. And, you know, not bad. That's the Chinese wire. And I'm, I'm not here to try to, you know, boost up my welding skills. They suck, and I get that. But my point is with the machine, it is capable of putting on a decent weld or a decent profile with the Chinese-made wire, which tells me this machine's got potential. Some of you guys probably already know that. Um, i got to work on propping. I started uh, here recently of taking uh, some soapstone and making chalk lines, and now my problem is... I can follow the chalk line up to a certain point and then I lose it and I don't understand that. That's a whole total different story. I ain't going to worry about that. But let me um, turn this puppy this way. And I'm going to prop this up real quick and prove to you guys that I actually did use the Chinese wire. I'm not talking out of my backside here. So let me take this down here. And I've actually, I can't say I've used all of it, but I've used a good chunk of it. That's the wire that came with this machine. Um, is it great? No, it's not great. Does it work? Yeah, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. I'll get in some light here. And this is the last, you know, the profile is okay. Like I said, it's not perfect. The, the imperfections are me. It's not the machine. But, excuse me. So I would say with some decent wire and some practice, it would be, I think it would be a decent machine. Um, my my opinion. I'm just saying, you know, these are great little machine starters. If you want to upgrade, I think that's a, a neat thing. A neat machine to th consider. Uh, the gun leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I use this quite a bit. I was running a lot of lines with it. The machine didn't give me any um, indications of running hot or anything matter of fact it never even got lukewarm and i ran it quite a bit the gun on the other hand was starting to get pretty hot um so that could be an issue they do uh there's a place that makes replacement guns for these uh if you decided to get one of these later on you wanted to upgrade the machine i think that would be a neat idea and i will show you the company that does these little guys right here if you can see that htp see these guys right here no, I'm not trying to advertise for them, but I'm telling you guys, if you decide to get one of those machines and later on upgrade the gun, these are the people that carry the gun. So, those are the peeps that carry the upgrade gun. Eventually, I think I'll wind up getting one. Um, 
obviously that 70 amp uh, a MIG-170 isn't this and it's not this and it's not that down there but it doesn't mean it's not a decent machine and you can you can do stuff with it um, what I'm going to do is once I use that Chinese wire all up I'm going to use the Vulcan the made in Italy stuff and we'll run some more lines what I want to do is find a way that I can prop myself better and try to get the machine uh, get my welds better and then uh, run a whole bunch to see what the machine does that's just my opinion um, quick not so quick video on this stuff just to let you guys know I know you guys are aware of the machine um, a lot of people like the uh, the 90 amp I think the one the 170 amp is something to consider um, I'm gonna try the Vulcan wire in it first and then we'll probably go to Lincoln uh, I use this with a coupon I think I got it for like 17 something uh, I'm still having a hard time with Lincoln it's like what 15 16 no it's not it's 1399 or something but it's only a pound of wire so if I can justify flux core eventually I'll probably get the big roll of Lincoln um, flux core and go, and go that right right now I can't justify the 60 bucks um, I don't want to buy a big old roll and have it sitting in my machine I've done that before um, not a big deal you always have it but I don't know exactly how much flux core wire I'm gonna do now one of the things I do want to say about wire is in this guy here I am using the Vulcan MIG wire that came with this guy right here and I love it I'm not saying it's better than anything else um, I, you know I'm sure Lincoln wire is great but I'm surprised for Chinese made MIG wire it runs pretty good in this Hobart machine I was I was shocked and the last wire I had in this Hobart machine was uh, US made it actually came with them uh, the Hobart but it seems to be hard to get US made wire anymore you can still get it you gotta look for it and who's to know whether it's better than anything else or not I don't know there's so many wires out there now anymore and I my issue is if I'm going to buy Chinese wire what does it make whether I get it from Harris or I get it from Vulcan I mean maybe it does make a difference I, I don't know I haven't played around with it I've just always in the past bought wire and welded what I needed to weld and called it good so anyway I'm babbling uh, I just wanted to point that stuff out it's uh, you know it's nothing that anybody doesn't know uh, matter of fact let me swing swing this by on that quarter inch steel I was welding these were my settings okay so about 6 to 630 seems to be okay I did run it at 7 yesterday and then I ran it at 8 and 8 was just pushing too much heat it it worked but uh, the wire speed was nice but it was it was hot so I backed it down to about 630 um, when I first started welding this quarter inch piece of steel I had it on 2 and max that is too much uh, it was definitely you could tell I was pushing too much current through it so I, I didn't I, what I did is I just left that on two brought that down to minimum and that seems to be I won't say perfect I could I'm gonna mess around with some of the settings some more but it was a good starting point so six six thirty two minimum and you already guys already saw the welds that I had so you know uh, you wouldn't want to do structural stuff with it but it's just just something to put out there I think that's all I got I'm babbling um, I'll hopefully tomorrow I'll get some arc shots and I'll do the uh, Chinese wire and then when I run out of all that we'll do this and see how this works um, I'm using the Vulcan flux core in the Vulcan machine and it seems to be working pretty good unfortunately that's a that's an inverter machine so it's going to control things better where these transformer machines down here, you get what you get. And if you can get a decent weld, then it's going to work. Uh, but nothing is going to uh, sugarcoat that, as obviously you can see from my welds. You get what you get. And it's a it's a good, I don't want to say it's a good learning machine, but it's a good machine. you got to dial it in. you got to find the sweet spot. Anyway, I'm babbling. I'm going to go. Thanks for stopping by and checking this out. Uh, sorry if I babbled too much. It's just my opinion on some stuff. And hopefully tomorrow we'll get some weld shots in there. You guys take care. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys here real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.